City, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Velma, and I'm back with another reaction video. Guys, I'm super excited today. I'm going to be reacting to somebody new, and that is Michael Knows. No, oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Noel's or No? No, oh damn, 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 damn. Please pardon me, Michael. No, no, ladies. No, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm so sorry. Uh, so Michael reacts to even more fat phobia TikToks. What do you mean by fat phobia? I know phobia is something you are scared of, right? When you have a phobia for something, you're scared of that thing, you're allergic to it. So we have fat phobia, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. This is my first time checking this out, and I can't wait to dive into it. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us. For the first time, if you are new here, hello, I'm Viva. I do reaction video. We buy to different artists on here, we have to different songs from all over the world. If you something that you love, why not join Viva CT? Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And with that, guys, let's go, guys. <laughs> Okay. What the f is this piece of sh? Hey everybody, Michael Knowles here, your hulking Adonis and cultural maven. I've been asked to examine wow. the curse, the plague of fat phobia. Take it away. People on this app don't like to talk about it, or at least lots of people don't like to talk about it, but we're gonna talk about it today, okay? If you're scared of being fat, you're fat phobic. It's oh. a f definition. I'm sorry to tell you. Just I kidding. said that earlier. I'm sorry. Put really? a pause there. So it's not in the definition. But the definition of a phobia is an irrational fear. Why are you afraid of fat people? Why don't you like it? Honestly, ask yourself this question. But she just said if you're afraid of fat. I don't know anyone who's afraid of fat people, but that wouldn't be the definition. You might be reasonably afraid of a fat person. Like a really big fat sumo wrestler who could maybe just fall down on top of you and crush all the air out of you. Woo! Oh! That would be a rational fear that you I wouldn't there'd be nothing phobic or irrational about it. Keep going. The first like 20 years of my life, my biggest fucking fear was gaining weight. I wow. spent so many years of my life. Okay, fat phobia. Now the meaning is beginning to sink in. And uh, I hate to admit it, but I am also fat phobia. I'm fat phobic. Is it? I'm fat phobic. Yeah. I'm actually scared of getting fat, of blowing up, of bloating. Wow. I never even realized that till now. Wow. I'll talk more about it after the video, but let's get into this one freaking out over you know gaining weight or not fitting in the same pair of pants or whatever and anytime i would try and work out to be healthy it was always 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 because i wanted to lose weight weight loss culture ed culture diet culture ED? all of it is rooted in fat phobia like impotence because our country is rooted in fat phobia yeah back when she used That's to true. go to the gym and watch what she ate and work out and everything that was back she was doing that to lose weight but now that she doesn't want to lose weight and she is now an anti-fat phobia activist look how happy she is doesn't she seem well adjusted <laughs> isn't she thriving and living her best life thank goodness she gave up on that i love too she says wow. america is rooted in fat phobia. I think I not only America, like even Nigeria. It's not rooted yeah. in truth, justice in the American way. It's not rooted in liberty, equality. No, specifically fat phobia. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. That's the root of our country, according to these scholars and activists. Right now, go to genucel.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T. Our friends at Genucel have launched a new product called Genucel 3, which works fast on your under eye bags and puffiness. Genucel 3 is smoother, more luxurious, and it uses advanced technology to deliver complex vitamins and minerals directly to your face for instant hydration. Wow. It is like Gatorade for your skin. 
This new GenuCell technology keeps your skin looking young and healthy for years to come. The GenuCell Fall Classics package also includes a jawline treatment for a more firm neck and jawline. It also includes GenuCell's anti-wrinkle moisturizer and deep firming serum. Get your skin ready for the cold and dry weather. If you don't look and feel your absolute best, you will get your money back. No questions asked. Go to GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT or you can call 800-SKIN, S-K-I-N, 211 for extra discounts on this amazing fall package. Results in 12 hours or less. The immediate effects are included for free. By the way, the founder of this company, great Coptic Christian from Egypt, who left there for the American dream. So head on over to genucell.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T, or call 800-SKIN, S-K-I-N, 211. Next one. Should we be worried about his health problems? Now this guy, this guy is definitely someone whose BMI scale reads obese. Should we worry about his health? Whoa. Is he going to have a heart attack? I'm sure if he uh-huh. lost some weight, they would be much healthier, be much better at the sports they compete in, and have much happier lives. Don't you agree? Fatness is not inherently unhealthy. Also, really? fat people don't owe you health. Two things, okay? Fat is unhealthy. Up. So first she points to people who are extremely muscular, and she says, see, these people are large, just like fat people are large. But they're not large in the same way because muscle and fat are different. Oh my yeah. I get it. Then she says, look, uh, fat people aren't unhealthy, which is just a non sequitur. She doesn't provide any evidence for that. And then she says, and also, fat so. people don't owe you health. Well, okay, you just gave away the game. It's like when people say, the, the border wall is cruel and evil and inhumane, and border walls don't work. Well, Hold on, if it's cruel and evil and inhumane, it sounds like it probably works. <laughs> that sounds like they stop the people from coming over and make it harder to... But if it doesn't work, then how is it cruel and evil and inhumane? It's not. You're just... You're, you're making two contradictory arguments, or arguments that at least subtly undermine one another, because you know that neither argument on its own really stands up to scrutiny. Keep going. Also, weight stigma against fat people in medicine hurts thin people too. Even in my comments section, there were people telling stories about how they've been neglected for diabetes testing because they weren't fat enough to have diabetes. The Whoa. first time I was told I was obese was by the Wee Fit when I was 14. What? Who would be 14 and be obese? Come on. Ah! And I did not have a healthy relationship with my body until I was at least 24. The world's biggest killer is anorexia. Think about why that is. I don't think the world's biggest killer is anorexia. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky... Hmm. Once... I think it's probably heart disease. And I, th- I mean, anorexia is a really horrible thing, obviously. But I think it's probably pretty low on the list. I think it's pretty far way down. So I'm going to think about that. If you do not date fat people because you just happen to view fatness as neutral but not be particularly attracted to it, fine. That's a preference. If you don't date fat people because you think being fat means that they are gross, lazy, live an unhealthy lifestyle, or are embarrassing to be seen with in public, that's fat phobic. But to insist your preference is for people who aren't lazy, sloppy, and disgusting and unhealthy, meaning that means you prefer skinny people because all fat people are those other things, that's actually, that's actually deciding that one group is all the same because of how they look. Hope that makes sense. Have a good day. It doesn't quite make sense. I mean, I don't pass these judgments on people when I see them, and there are all sorts of explanations for how people got to be the way that they are. But let's not take that to such an extreme that we're now severing the the line between actions and physical consequences, behavior mm-hmm. and habits and lifestyles, and the way that you look. You'll see it. If, if, if you go out and abuse drugs for 20 years, you're going to look like Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden was a pretty good-looking guy back in the day, and he's not a good-looking guy anymore. Oh, my God. Through extremely degenerate behavior. If you're going to the gym every day, and you're going to church, and you're eating well, and you're living a wholesome lifestyle, you're probably going to see that reflected in how your looks change over time. That's, there is a, a link between those two things. I'll use my own example. I understand I am an Adonis and I understand that I am a, a sex symbol. 
both here in the United States and internationally. But I'm willing to admit something, which is that I do not go to the gym. It's just not something I do. You know, Are you I don't think serious? It matters, and then some of us just uh, wake up like this. But if I went to the gym, I would have bigger muscles, and you would see those bigger muscles. And somebody walking down the street would look over at me and say, oh, that guy, you know, he's probably pretty motivated, and he goes out to the gym and he works really hard at that, and and that's admirable and virtuous, and I think that's great. Oh, what a beautiful day! How was your workout today? Did you crush it? If somebody is morbidly obese, they probably have a problem with gluttony, and we all sin and fall short of the glory of God, but. That's a problem. And if you want to grow in virtue, then you should probably stop that. You know, you should put the cupcake down. Oh, these cookies. I got to get the recipe from Les. Put that cookie down now. That's true. We can draw those conclusions. Yeah, it's, it's natural. It's, it's reasonable. Great. I hope you found that lesson educational. And if you didn't like it coming from a skinny boy such as me, that would be an example of your mesolentophobia, the fear of skinny boys, just like me. See you next time. Hey, okay. Wow, wow. This was really funny. Okay, okay, okay. One fact is that I never knew I was fat phobia until I saw this video. I never even knew fat phobia was a thing. But I must confess that I'm actually fat phobic. I am scared of becoming fat of getting fat when i was younger i was kind of fat in fact when people see me now like my classmates when i was in primary school they see me now they'll be like were you sick were you ill like i've really really lost weight and i love it that way so i actually do not want to get fat and i don't think being fat is healthy it is not healthy because the other lady was saying oh it is healthy it is this is no, 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 no. Being fat is not healthy. There's also called fat, and uh, there's also belly fat. So I remember, uh, was it last year or two years ago, while I was uh, doing my IT during that period, I was really starving myself because I didn't want to get fat, and so I barely ate. I I wasn't eating, and every every night I don't eat because I don't want to get fat. I don't want to have that belly fat. I just want to. Have, uh, you know, I want to have a very good shape without going to the gym, right? <laughs> I've never been to the gym, I think once, once in my whole life. So I don't go to the gym, I don't do exercise. I'm just me and I just want to maintain my shape. I don't want to get fat. So I was really starving. And at the end of the day, I had ulcer. And when I had Osa, that was when it dawned on me that, girl, you're actually starving. You're not eating because you want, you don't want, you don't want to get fat. You're not eating. You're at that point. I knew that I needed to take care of myself. At that point, I didn't even care if I was fat anymore. Because my sister was like, ah, what is 7 p.m. This girl she doesn't eat anymore. At that point, even if it's 12 a.m., if I am hungry, my darlings, I am eating <laughs> because health is wealth. So at that point, I knew that, okay, I needed to eat. But at the same time, I was still watching my weight. But I made sure that I was always eating because the ulcer was really crazy at that time. And just thought on me that I need to take care of myself more often. I just need to take care of myself because what if it was worse? What if something happened? So that's how I just go like that. That was when it dawned on me that I need to take care of myself. So I stopped the old starving stuff and I began eating. And so, yeah, my belly is bad, but I don't really have that belly fat. I'm still working on it, but this time around, I want to eat. I want to make sure that I'm eating well and also at the right time, you know. So, of course, you should take care of your body. You should take care of your body. But at the same time, do not starve yourself. Do not starve yourself because that would really be bad. Like that also really scared the shit out of me. It scared me. And I was like, what if it was worse? What if it was chronic? What would I say? Me intentionally starving myself, it doesn't even make sense. And so here we are today. 
and um yeah i i remember a lot of celebrities that actually went through surgery just to become slimmer yeah a lot of celebrities in my country nigeria so you know people that are obese obesity is not healthy it's not healthy and um, nobody will want to be obese so the thing is watch your weight okay watch your weight watch your weight and do exercises although i don't do exercise i don't go to the gym because i don't know if i have time for all of that but i don't know what do you guys think about this video you watching this are you also fat phobic i feel like all women are kind of fat phobic it's like the ones that are really really slim they have nothing to worry about so what do you guys think you know you know a lot of women doing the liposuction thing so they basically do that because they want to take out the fat in their body and all of that so i don't really blame them for doing the surgeries but i don't think i want to ever do that surgery so in order for me not to get to that stage where i'll be needing to do surgery let me just control the way i eat now so i think that 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 is kind of better so you watching this what do you think what do you think about this old fat phobic thing are you fat phobic are you not if you're a if you're a man watching this or a lady i'd love to hear your own points of view this was absolutely amazing i totally enjoyed it uh let me hear your thoughts and um thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video and if you're new here join veracity hit the subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops and that's guys see you in the next one love you bye guys